working at a golf course in Ireland, Delgany Golf Club. And what's so special about this golf course is 18 holes of magnificent backdrops, pretty decent green fees, a wonderful walk to the train station of just about an hour. And that's what we like to do, affordable golf within the area as we continue our trip around Ireland. So get on in. And as we continue to look at what this golf course is going to offer, it's an independent golf channel. That's what we're trying to do. And we're going to bring you each one of those holes through this 18-hole membership, quote-unquote, but open to any visitor that's willing to take the trip down there on the dart line and throw some darts. Established in 1908, so over 100 years of golf within this location. It's situated in the heart of Wicklow County, which is, quote unquote, the Garden of Ireland. Now, it also echoes other golf courses in Greystone, like Greystone Golf Club, which is a wonderful course, and we hit that course as well. It was fully established because the members at the Greystone Golf Club at the time, 100 years ago, were not able to get some tea times on a Sunday when they were looking to play their golf course. So what do they do? Well, they built a new one. The golf club is affiliated with the Golfing Union of Ireland in 1908. The golf is also situated within 30 minutes from Dublin City and only an hour from the Dublin International Airport on the other side of the city. The long history of the fine golfing tradition that dates back to Saturday, September 18th, 1909, when Harry... Ferdinand, one of the great names in golf history, played an extended match play with Irish champion Michael Moran. Now, Harry did win that match with only seven or eight clubs in his bag noted. And after the match, it was quoted that he drove like a lion and putted like a lamb. All major changes to the layout and updates soon to come. It was advised how the greens and bunkers could be approved and also other suggestions that you could see the course today with. Now, in its recent history, an investment of over 1.5 euros by the club members. The upstairs has a Ryder Cup room where it displays some of the history of the courses and also some memorabilia of some of the older golf uh, players that we just listed. Now, most importantly, we're going to talk about the course. You can see right off the bat, Look how green and luxurious this course is. Its bunkers are true. It's one of the better courses that we played, the 1 out of 10. And we played a lot so far, but this one's up there. And you can see right off the bat, there's just a lot to offer it going for the second shot and finding some trouble. doesn't play too long, and we're going to get into the stats of the golf course now. From the back tees, the course plays 5,473 meters or just under 6,000 yards at 5,986 yards. Now you can see these bunkers are real tight. Of course it is incredible shape. The greens putt true. There's no excuses out here as stated but most importantly it's just a great time with some good picturesque golf in the backdrops and it's a little hidden. It doesn't feel like you're that far from Dublin. You're still about I don't know 30 minutes. Paid about 60 euros to play this golf course and it's still well worth it being one of the more expensive golf courses on this cheap golf course venture around Dublin area and also we went a little further than that it's a fun golf course definitely went at a time with sun's lighting is perfect uh, around one o'clock two o'clock time frame you're gonna pay a little bit more for those time rates but most importantly it's about 60 euros to play the golf course and the big question is is it worth it now we're going to give that 1 to 10 rating just a bit, but before we do, it could be worth it. And especially if you're outside the South Dublin area, this could be the course for you. It's well kept. This last 18th hole is be extremely challenging. Um, in regards to food and options, I will say the dining room area was pretty good. The soup was awesome. It had pretty nice views of the 18th hole. You can get a cappuccino or an Americano if you wanted to but most importantly you can have a great day up there it's well elevated you have some beautiful views some of the better views we had so far on our trip around Ireland so if you made it this far and you're looking for more golf 
this might be the channel you want to subscribe to. Written all the golf courses around the world. We're just hit Dublin. We're looking for other countries, suggestions, golf courses, or golf related entertainment. Most importantly, this course was well worth it. If you're a member or if you're interested in providing more information on this course, put that down in the description below. We can use all those information. This is World Twilight Golfer. And if you're not playing golf, if you're not watching golf, at least be thinking about it. And keep on playing. Go fly. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch.